think this is another example of people people being too afraid to recognize the fact that our state has a responsibility to educate our children. And the reason I feel that is because these people are going to grow up to be citizens within our society. They're going to build our future. And just shifting the responsibility onto the parents by saying, hey, we're going to punish you if your kid's a bully is terrible to me. Because what that makes me think is, wow, how will some of these parents react to this? They might not be taking the most effective way to stop a bully. They might even perpetuate the cycle by you know, offering threats or severe harsh punishments. I assure you that a call home when I was a kid was bad enough. Now if it was a call home and a fine for 250 bucks and a cop telling them, hey, you might go to jail for 15 days, you're gonna get a lot more than your, your, your game console taken away. That, that's my opinion. You know what, I have to agree with you. Like this whole thing is like, I think when a child is brought into the world, it is the parent's job to make sure they grow up to be respectable citizens. As a parent, you brought that kid in the world, now you have to make sure they're a respectable citizen. I 100% think parents should be penalized for this kind of thing. Because you're going to sit there and wonder, okay, if your parents are not like doing anything to this kid or whatever, like make it happen. When I was younger, my parents, the threat of my parents whipping my bum was always there, but they never actually did it. But I always knew that, okay, there's certain lines I can cross, and then there's certain things I couldn't cross. And I grew up to be a respectable citizen, and I don't have any issues about like, the occasional time if my parents really thought like a wooden spoon was needed, then it was needed, Wait, right? So and as if I became a parent, I'd do the absolute Wait, same thing. Really Honestly, weird. like, no, this topic makes me really emotional because you know what? Like, a lot of us have, I think all of us, we've suffered from bullying and some more than others. And I really do think that this law is a slap in the face, like another insult to victims of bullying because this shifts the blame from the bullies to other people. And no one but the bully themselves. They they are the ones responsible for their actions. They should receive all of the consequences in the full brunt of it. And honestly, people who have committed suicide because of bullying are turning their grades because of this law. I mean, this is just, it's pure stupidity. You don't shift the blame. Like, what kind of message do you send to bullies and victims around the world with this law? See, my thing is, like, I feel like it's, it, it shouldn't be even punishment at all. Honestly, like, we need to stop looking for someone to blame and start finding the reason of how to fix it. You know, I, I don't believe in punishment, I believe in like rehabilitation. Like forget putting it onto the parents or putting it onto the child, why don't we figure out what's wrong with the kid? Like I grew up in like a, a household where my parents like, they did their best to, to make sure I have the right morals and values, but like they couldn't prepare me for, for what was to come when I walk outside my door. And so like I, I grew up as like I was the bully because I had to be tougher and whatever. But it was like, it wasn't that I was a bad person, it was what I was going through. And so it's like we need to find reasons or ways to help these kids, you know, Progress. You know what, Michael? I really agree with you on, well, I'm down for talking about young leadership and working with young people, so.